To read the problem and understand what is given therein, Mr. V received 10 lakh rupees from his uh, pension fund. He wants to invest in a stock market. The treasury bill rate is 5 percent. Treasury bill is least risk security. We call that as risk free return. It is RF 5 percent. And the market return variance is 10. Market return variance is 10. Standard deviation square of M, that is 10. The following table gives the details regarding the expected return, beta, and residual variance of the individual security. So you can see here, expected return is given. It is R, R I means individual security return. Beta is given, B. Unsystematic risk is given, standard deviation square of CI. This is also called as residual variance. Got it? Here is the last paragraph. What is the optimum portfolio assuming? No short sales. No short sales. I'll explain later. Lost for a bit. Okay. The key word what you find here is optimum. Underline the word optimum portfolio. This is an indication that you have to work the problem under Schrock's optimum portfolio. What is this is? Even though there are six options in front of an investor, 10 lakh rupees has to be invested in the best return giving security. Best return giving security, 10 lakh rupees. It can be one also, one security also, it can be two securities also, it can be three also, it can be four also. Think as an investor. Would you like to invest in the shares or stocks which you give, which is going to give maximum returns or lowest returns? <laughs> so, you are analyzing you want to invest means which of the securities you want to invest. Optimum portfolio. Portfolio is more than one. More than one. So, it may be two, three, four, whatever. Six are given here. Which are the top most ranking security where how much to be invested? In which security, how much should be invested? That is what is called optimum portfolio. You have to look into the word optimum. This is the case study problem. Okay. First, we have to see what are the information given. It looks similar to the earlier problems also. But what is the key word here? Optimum. optimum. That is important. So first, let us rank based on returns and the beta. Comparing that, let us find out which security is the best rank wise first. Then we will continue further. Okay. So, first let us try to check ranking for different securities based on return and the beta factor. First one I take A. A R I is 15 minus R F 5. Beta is 1. So 15 minus 5. 10 divided by 1. I can't rank no. I have to rank 
later. Next week. Twelve minus five divided by one point five. Beta is one point five. Next, C. R is eleven minus five divided by two. two. Three. Three. Are you getting? Yes, sir. So next, B. Eight minus five divided by beta value zero point eight. Three point five. Three point five. Seven five. Next E nine minus five divided by one four four. Yes, fourteen minus five divided by one point five. Six twenty six. Yeah, six minus six. When you look here, which is the highest <coughs> value here in this column? <coughs> That's to be one. When they are choosing, the first security investment should be in A. Got it? Second highest. Second highest. Yes. 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 Next one. B. 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 This should be the order of investment. The person is investing money. It should be in A first. Next in yeah. F. Next in B. B. Like that, it has to go on. Still, money will be invested. Then last one will be C. Understood? Yes. Sure. Yes, sir. What I explained, you will have to pay attention and try to understand. These are the columns. We have to have to tell the investor that he has to invest in which investment and how much to invest. So this, what I have written here, is a part of a formula connected to CI. CI is nothing but cutoff point. C is cutoff point. I means particular investment. At which particular investment the cutoff has to be done? That means investment has to be done beyond which, even if they do investment, the investment will not be good enough. So cutoff point means it may end after after any of the particular uh, security. But I have to do here not A B C D. I have to go according to the Ranking which we have done. What is the ranking? Anyone remember? A, B, C, 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 it is called as C. If you find C, I, it's a big formula. I have divided into two parts. One is this point, summation. Other one is this. So I try to work one by one. Then I will calculate the C, I. Once we do that, then we can go for Z, I and X, I. X, I is weights. How much to be invested? So cutoff point is the one where it says that. The good returns, excess return is there. At there, we stop the investment. Below which the investor should not invest. I'll go for this formula first. R I minus R F divided by the systematic risk. I'll go for A first. R I is minus R F is systematic risk. Three decimals. 
minimum can go for fourth also. Next, yes, if it's 14 minus 5 divided by 10. Remember the order, not ABCD order. Okay? 14 minus 5 divided by 10. F, F is 10. It comes to 1.35. Check. This into beta. So 15 minus 1 divided by 30 into 1. Beta value is 1. The value is same 0.33. Here beta value is 1.5. 1.5 minus 5 divided by 10 into 1.5 1 1 Next for B 12 minus 5 divided by 20 into beta value 1.5 0 0.525 Next for E 9 minus 5 divided by 20 into 1.2 0 point next for D 8 minus 5 divided by 10 into 0 0.8 0 0.24 Next for C 11 minus 5 divided by 40 into 2 0 .3. 0 .3. So first we have to find these values Do you remember cumulative? Yes. Frequency how to do? Yes, sir. Everybody remember? Yes, sir. Shall I? Yes, sir. That is what is called summation. We have to do the humility of it. Okay? So this plus this 1.683. This plus this now. 2.208. 2.408 This is to be done in the pencil, not in the pen, only for your reference. When you are revising, it is required. 2.648 So this is to be done, this is summation. Summation is whatever answer you have got, that has to be added up to find the summation of it. Next is B square, it is a beta square divided by unsystematic. Okay? So beta is for A, 1 divided by 1 square divided by 30. 1 square is 1 divided by 30. Next for F, beta is 1.5 square divided by 10. 0.2. Next for B, beta is 1.5 square divided by 20. 1.25. Next for E, 1 square divided by 20, 0 0.05. Next for D, 0 0.8 square divided by 10, 0 0.064. Next for C, 2 square divided by 40, 0 0.1.
Got it? Again, we have to cumulative to the cumulative to the cumulative of this. So zero point zero three three. Okay. Plus this zero point two five five. Two five five. Zero point three seven zero five. Zero point three seven zero five. Zero point four zero five. Zero point four zero five. Zero point zero five. Zero point four eight four five. Zero point five eight four five. Five eight four five five. The first important work you have to do, then I give the formula for cutoff point. Okay, do up to here. After completing so much, we have to go for CI. CI is nothing but calculation of cutoff. The formula is here. Have a look at it carefully. Here it is: market variance into Summation of R I minus R F divided by unsystematic into B I. Okay, this portion we have done here. Can you see here? Yes. Working one. Okay, summation R I minus R F divided by unsystematic into B I. So this portion is done. Then beta square divided by unsystematic summation here. Got it? Understood? Ah, so now we have to go for simplification. We should have working here straight away. I have done this working. Now how simple it is? I will look at it. First in the ranking is A. Let me calculate for A. Variance is market return and summation of this for A. How much is that? Zero point three three three. Correct, ah? Huh? One as it is plus again ten into so multiply ten into this. You get a value. Then into this, then add one to that. First multiply this, then add one to this. Four point five three zero. 
4.307. So CA you have to find for all the six and you have to write here. Look at the board, this is the most important point of uh, working. So cutoff is at the highest level. If you look here, 2.504. 4.7 is decreased here. Correct? So which is highest point? The top is? This is equal to C. C represents cutoff point. Cut off point. C represents cutoff point. Understood up to here? Okay? Right up to here as you may know. After writing CI, we have identified the cutoff point. Okay, at which one the investment has to be stopped. Investment has to be stopped. So investment has to be stopped at the highest point. 4.701 is the highest. So investment has to be done A and F. Only A and F. Is it clear? So the optimal portfolio consists of securities A and F. Is it clear? Write a note, then we will continue further. The highest CI value, the highest CI value is the cutoff point is the cutoff point that is that is C star. Can you see the board here? For us, here I have put a star mark. C star. Continue. Next sentence. The stocks, the stocks ranked. Above C star have high excess return, have high excess return to beta to beta than the cutoff than the cutoff CI. And all the stocks, all the stocks below, below C star have, have low excess return, have low excess return to beta. Low returns means not good profits. Above is good profit, below is less profits. Hence, here cutoff rate is, hence, here the cutoff rate is 4.701. Therefore, First two securities, therefore, first two securities are selected, are selected, that is, which one? A and F, right there, A and F. Okay, now, after this, this is for you to understand why C star, what is the reason for finding the C star. Then we have to go for this calculation. We call it as calculation of weights. That means how much to be invested in A, how much to be invested in F. Got it? So the optimum portfolio consists of securities A and F. Why only A and F? Please look at the problem. You have a sentence there. 
last part of the sentence entire problem is that what is the optimum portfolio correct assuming no short sales put a bracket and underline for that no short sales means we go for only the best optimal okay i will do the second part of it if there is no short sales in the exam you have to remember this no short sales means this method okay if uh, short sales is allowed what is to be done i will let you know further got it now cut off point you got it can i go for side eye calculation now only for this two a and f not for all not for all so z a first one beta value is 1 unsystematic is 30 ri 15 minus 5 divided by beta 1 minus 4 so star what is the value 4.5 15 minus 5 divided by 1 minus that value. Zero point one seven six six. One seven six six. Similarly, find for Z F. Beta for F. 1.5 and systematic is 10 ri 14 minus 5 divided by 1.5 remember c star is this 4.701 i will go for summation of it summation of it summation z i i will add both values now 0.1766 plus 0.1949 so summation z i 0.3715 what is the use of this i will explain now Look, I have done ZA and ZB. Those values I have taken as in the Z column, ZI column, A and F column. This is connected to what calculation of weights. You may be wondering, for ZI you have written weights, sir? No. ZI will help us in finding the weights. That is, Excel will help us to find out how much investment to be done in A, how much investment to be done in F. Is it okay? So I will explain how now. That one. This we call it call it as calculation of relative investment. In this security, how much to be invested percentage wise? Okay, how much to be invested amount wise? If you want to calculate, shall I calculate? Yes. I'll go for calculation for X A. That is, X A calculation for the first one. What is the value here for A? Zero point one seven. Do you remember the total? Three seven one five. Whatever you have taken, take that. Divide that. Multiply by hundred. Divide it and multiply by hundred. Forty seven point five. Okay, don't pay attention for it. This is the percentage. I have to put this percentage over here. 
So out of investment total, 47.537% to be invested in A. Look at the amount. If it is an amount, okay? If it is an amount, how much to be invested? Have a look at it. 10 lakhs is the amount, correct? Huh? 10 lakhs into 47.537 divided by 100. 4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,4,
the unsystematic risk is 10 then I will take 6 minus C star 4.307 all substitution only you have to remember is substitution part 1.5 divided by 10 0.15 then 6 minus 4.307 that is going to be 1.693 that is going to give us 0.25395 next we will substitute for B you substitute for B you are going to get 1.5 as uh, beta and 20 as unsystematic and this 4.67 minus 4.307 so 1 divided 1 1.5 divided by 20 we have to do first 0.075 then 4.67 minus 4.307 we have to do there we get point 363 so when you multiply 0 minus no, 0 0.0272 plus value only we are going to get that in next for uh, e beta value 1 unsystematic 20 so here R minus RF divided by beta is uh, 4 and uh, the C star is 4.307 uh, 1 divided by 20 0 0.05 then you are going to get a minus value here 4 minus 4.307 that will be minus 0 0.307 so when you multiply here, you are going to get the minus value for the answer minus 0 0.0153. So we have to be careful here when you are doing the minus and when you are doing division, use the calculators properly, go for one more step, then multiply and minus is there, it is going to be in the minus value. Next is for D. For D you are going to get beta 0.8 unsystematic is 10 3.75 minus C star again you are going to find here the minus value will come because the value is different so 0 0.8 divided by 10 0 0.08 and you are going to get a minus value here minus 0 0.557 so multiply 0 0.08 into this and you get a minus value here. So minus 0 0.04450 or 56 rather. Next for the C, beta is 2, unsystematic 40. So here also we are going to get a minus again 2 divided by 40 0 0.05 Here you are going to get a minus 1.307 So when you multiply here again you get a minus value minus 0 0.06535 So when you look at this you have these 3 in the plus values and these three in minus values. From this you understand that A, F and B first three A, F and B are in plus values so A, F and B stocks are to be kept for long term because they have less values and remaining you have E, 
B and C stocks can be sold short because they have minus values so from this you find when short sales is permitted it has to be sold if already existing in the portfolio because it is showing minus better to go for sales whichever is having a plus value better to keep it for a long term because they are in positive values so this is the situation if short sales are permitted so you have to be careful and check out whether it is a short sales is allowed or not allowed if nothing is specified no short sales when nothing is specified there is no short sense.